Well, since April, the Ohio Turnpike has been using a new system for collecting tolls. At four plazas across the state, a driver without an easy pass must pull through the plaza and pay a toll. Yeah, but that message has not been reaching some drivers. Late last month, our 11 Investigates team reported people are getting $19 bills in the mail. And since that report, our team has been flooded hearing from many of you. Lead investigator Brian Duggar has this story. On July 30th, 11 investigates reported that 257,000 drivers missed paying a toll at a new Swanton Plaza in the first two months that it was operating. Did the Ohio Turnpike do a good job in educating the public before the system went live? We issued a series of, of news releases, one on uh, March 22nd, and uh, when we went live explaining uh, how the new toll collection system works. But did the Ohio Turnpike do a good job in educating the public before this went live? Yes, we are. Uh, we understand there are some uh, growing pains with our customers explaining the new system. Our viewers did not agree with those comments from the Turnpike's communications director. A social media post generated more than 600 comments. But then we asked viewers to send us their stories, and they did. Eventually, 100 comments over the first several hours, and we were sent dozens of emails. Viewers also wanted to tell us their stories. I'm an experienced, confident driver on that road, and I wasn't able to figure out, figure out what to do in time, my first time driving on that. I was too busy watching traffic and never paid any attention to the sign. And I didn't get off that Delta. one toe. In nine separate interviews, common uh, themes uh, began to emerge. Uh, the the Turnpike did not prepare the public for the changes. I did not know they changed everything because me going 70 to 75 miles an hour, I'm not trying to look on the east side, you know, I'm not trying to look at the cars in front of me. Your estimated wait time is 120 minutes. Customer service has been very difficult to reach. I think their customer service is horrible, as it takes forever to get a hold of somebody. You just get a notice in the mail calling. I don't have three hours, five hours to sit on the phone and wait to speak to somebody about a bill that I shouldn't have got in the first place. The Easy Pass system is also failing. I'm one of the people that has an Easy Pass. Um, I'm not just blowing through. Um, the the toll plaza, um, I, you know, I, I have an easy pass that's not that's not being scanned. I'll give you a customer service number and you can take it up the phone. And no one is happy about being charged the entire $19 fee from Pennsylvania to Indiana. I think they're taking advantage of people um, by making us, you know, pay the entire fee. Dozens of emails, nine right Zoom interviews, disgruntled area. drivers in speaking fun. in one voice. They need to be transparent um, about the issues and not placing blame on, um, on the consumer. So there still appears to be a disconnect between what we're hearing from drivers and what the Turnpike says they're hearing. Now, a Turnpike official told me that they aren't getting angry phone calls. I was also told that they've added hours for their customer service team and wait times will go down. Now, this is definitely not what drivers are telling us. In fact, I called customer service yesterday and I could not reach a representative. So we're going to continue to stay on top of the story. If you've had a bad experience with the Turnpike, email us at 11investigates at WTUL.com. Reporting in the newsroom, this is Brian Duggar for 11 Investigates.